Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lola for those of you who didn't already know. So, we're doing a mukbang, a mini mukbang. What? So, what? I don't know what it means. Sorry, I'll hold that up. I don't know what it means, but it's spelt M-U. You have to get in frames of, come and sit next to me. You're gonna do this thing right on. Huh? Put that over there. You have to do it while we eat. That's the whole point of a mukbang. What's a fucking mukbang? I'm gonna explain it to you. Mukbang. I hope I'm saying it right. Mukbang. Okay. So mukbang is where people just eat and talk. Well, you guys are fucked because I don't talk when I eat. Yeah, but today we're talking about something interesting. So t on today's menu, mukbang. is this focused? It's not focused. Okay, well, I tried to change the settings to make sure it focused, but... I think it's focused. Like, I think we good. I think we good. Okay, so... Keep on pushing. On today's mukbang, we are talking about Nikki's tutorials. What the fuck is a mukbang? Okay, so like a mukbang is... I don't know what it means. Actually, let's... Wait, where's your phone? Let's Google mukbang. So yeah, like I said, on today's menu is jello fries, stew, chicken, and plantain served by TK. Thank you, baby. Served by, wasn't made by. So mukbang, mukbang or milkbang is a live online audiovisual broadcast in which a host eats food while interacting with your audience. Who came up with the fucking word? It's Asian. It's Asian. So anyway, I wanted to talk about Nikki's tutorials. Who's Nikki? So the thing, basically, Nikki's tutorials, for those of you who don't know, Nikki is someone on YouTube who has been on YouTube for ages, and she's a beauty blogger who does, like, makeup tutorials and things like that. Anyway, yesterday, she came out as being transgender, and I've watched Nikki's tutorials for years, and I literally would have never guessed. Chill. Mm-hmm. Legit. Chill. I saw her picture today. And she did not look it. What? She did. She sorry. does not look it. She did. No, she did not. She, she did, bro. I'm sorry. Okay. I could not. I watched her religiously and I could not tell. The religion was fake. No. <laughs> Have you seen a picture of her? <laughs> yes. Nah. Okay. Can't tell. I could. But what I want to talk about was. And I'm not trying to be funny or anything, I'm just saying I could tell. She was dating her boyfriend for a while, Did and her boyfriend, boyfriend didn't know. know. That's the part that I think that she messed up. I feel like she doesn't owe us the truth, as in like her audience, but she definitely owes it to her partner. Well, like, he knew. Because he knew. Everyone has their own. He knew. What? He knew. Mm hmm. This girl started transitioning when she was six years old. Yeah, but I mean, so they were having sex. I mean, I don't know the intricacies of their relationship. Yeah, they weren't having sex. But you know there's vaginal reconstruction, right? Yeah. You know that, right? Well, I know. Yeah, so, you know. But he knew. I mean, I don't know about that part, but basically she was blackmailed into coming out. Oh, really? Which I thought was really mean also. That's fucked up. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like... Thinking about it, like I understand the need to like preserve your truth because she you wanted people really to know her for her art and not for who she was, like who she aligned as. And I think that's really cool and really important. And like everyone should be like allowed to express themselves artistically without saying like that they're trans, right? Fair. So she doesn't owe us anything, but she definitely owes who she's dating. Um, he knew. I'm busy telling you that he knew and they was just adding it to like, you know. No, because out. she literally said, she was like, look, I wanted to tell you guys, but under better circumstances, like, she was forced into telling. I mean, now I think they're actually engaged. But I think she told, I think she told him a while ago, but I think the whole point of the story was he didn't necessarily know at first. Yeah, like, first. So what would you do if you found out I was transgender? I have no idea, but like if I on a love level, I get it. 
if you've like if that's what I'm saying. If you find out that I've been transitioning since I was like five. No, but we've been doing everything and we've been cool and like Yeah, like everything. I'm just I was just born a boy. It would be difficult. I mean, I don't know, it's fucked. It's a difficult pill to swallow. Yeah. I think you would stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you don't want to say it on camera, but I think you'd stay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to say it on camera. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you love me that much that like even if father was a man, you'd stay. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> if I found out you were a chick, I'd stay. Are you a man? Yeah, because it's easier <laughs> for a chick. What do you mean? Um, it's a lot easier for a girl to be like, oh my girls, you go shopping and shit. Not trying to be like you know, patriarchy and shit. I'm just saying like it's easier for a girl. Whereas, yeah, this is true. You just find out like you're gay. Yeah. You're not gay though. You're not because that person once you try, once you what's what's your trans? Is it transform? Don't transform. What's, what's the what's the trans? You what are, what's the full word of trans? Once you go through born. your it's not even procedure, that procedure. You become the different. You become the other sex. You were being that person. It's just now that you're able to explore. Express it. Ex that's the word. So what you're saying is, if you believe that, then you believe someone who thinks they're trans is actually a girl, but they just yeah. If, yeah so you believe I mean, that as well. Of course. If, I mean, if, like, I personally believe that somebody would literally go through all that trouble just to be like, nah. So yeah, it's like. But it's how a, do you? It's a difficult one. How do you feel about Nikki? not being honest with us like do you think that people are more judgy and they would have been less supportive of her if she found out she, if they found out they knew she was trans my thing is if you lied for like the first i don't know like year or two then you blew up and it became a thing she didn't come out do you know what i'm saying because mm -mm. it wouldn't change anything otherwise she even did her transformation surgery wide on youtube she did it so you knew mm -mm. Yep. it's crazy because she's been like this since she was six. She was so feminine. I don't know. What? It's only her face you can really see. You said she did the thing on But like her surgery, like while she was already in the public eye, mm -hmm. was when she underwent surgery. So you knew she was a guy? No, because she had hair. She had been so taking So what hormones. was the surgery? Oh, no, no. Like you're saying. Do boobs and like vaginal stuff. Oh, you're saying that she did all that, but she didn't tell you guys. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant like she did it. No, she didn't tell us. What I'm saying is, I understand both sides, but I understand you guys' side more because if what? she, I'll only understand her side if she was like lying for like a couple of years, you know, because I understand that like she wasn't ready. And then, I don't think she needs to tell us. No, 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 no. I'm just basically trying to say the only reason, the only way I would get her side is if she lied. Or she wasn't ready to come out and I mean, she, didn't she lie. blew up and then it was too late and then she now said after like yeah. but she just said she didn't want people online to know her for her art for no but then it's too late you're blown art. like you're good you're known for what you do not who you <laughs> are but the, oh those things do take over nah. 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 nobody remembers her as an athlete she doesn't want that because if well, you, if yeah, she but transition what we remember, what we remember her being, as is not her choice no but what i'm saying was if she wanted to be known there's no way on her in hell she would remember for being an athlete even when he was bruce jenner a lot of people didn't remember who he was as an athlete they just knew him as brody jenner's dad and Chris Jenner's husband. Facts. Really? No facts. A lot of people didn't know he was like an Olympian. Like mm. five ah. or six out of ten human beings did not know. They didn't let us forget it on keeping up. Yeah, but that's people who watched it. But people who knew he was a way like if you ask the average human being, did you know that he won a fucking gold medal in the fucking nineteen eighty fucking four or if My like, teeth nah. are messed up. Like when I eat they hurt. Sorry to interrupt you. So yeah, that didn't spoil his watch. It's my point. 
Well, I think in this day and age, it's important for everybody to like live their truth. Yeah. And I feel like if if your reason for not living your truth publicly is that you're just a private person, then you're entitled to that. But if the reason is because you're afraid, then don't be afraid. I feel like I have a tattoo here that says no fear. And like I'm afraid of a lot of stuff. I'm a scaredy pants. Like I'm super anxious about everything. Like I overthink so much and I'm so emotional. I care about like everything and everything a lot. Like it's so weird. But like I try not to be afraid and I think it's important to not be afraid. Tyson. He's tapped out. So on that note. No, I haven't tapped out. I was feeding my dog. But yeah, um, like, live your truth. It's hard. And I do understand people that can't live their truth because we still live in a world where a lot of people's decisions aren't, aren't theirs. So, yeah. Um, but at the same time, if you're not living your truth openly, live it amongst yourselves. Or inside you still counts I just think you only have one life like. exactly I remember you're an audience of one you not you only seven have billion. one life you're an audience of one if you're happy with what you're doing you're okay let me tell you something about living your truth I was once in this like friendship kabako where many many years ago but there was this one girl who would always tell me, oh, this girl does the most. Oh, this girl, this, this girl, that. Well, then this girl would post a selfie and this girl would repost it. I used to think it was insane. And I was like, imagine if this girl stopped living her life because this girl said she didn't like her. It was all, it's even all fake. So don't worry people who say they're scared. They don't like gay people. Gay people are just as human as straight people. Right. They don't mind people that say trans people aren't like it doesn't make sense. It's all in your head. No, it's not People that have like multiple personality disorders schizophrenia like it's real Like I so believe in mental health and like mental illness. It's insane Like and so when Nikki did that thing like I just felt like wow Like do you know how much of a mental burden you've been dealing with year after year day after day to come on this platform? Have millions of people watching you and they have no idea what your story is. That's crazy. So, I don't know. I just thought I'd come on here and say... I had a good day today. And which was like a stark contrast from my bad day yesterday. So I think I was willing to tell people that there's light at the end of the tunnel. And everything passes. And yeah, 2020 is going to be just great. You just me. Look. So it's... She just licked the jello fries off. Have a good year, everybody. And Nikki tutorials, if you ever watch this, we day are back. Dude, I legit thought when you said Nikki like 30 minutes ago. No, not 30 minutes ago. Like 30 seconds ago, you meant Nikki Minaj. But no, I. Sorry. And Nikki Minaj, if you watch this too, we day are back also. This one's a traitor. No, she's not. She's uh -uh. Like team Beyonce. I'm. I believe all women can win, so I ain't on that road. Ooh, they're texting us. Check. Might be money. Ah. Touch and say hello to the camera. But on a serious note now, we're actually going to go because we need to catch up on Love Island.